Okay, so uh, hello everybody. Oh, it's been a while since our last upload. But the only reason why we haven't uploaded is that we are suffering from what we call this um, the Elden Ring hangover. That's right. It exists. But only after you have played this game called Elden Ring. Now, for those of you who haven't played Elden Ring yet, well, it's a Souls-like and um, an open world game combined. And the result is um, massive. There is no guide in playing this um, massive mess. Or you have to figure it out on your own or by reading and watching a countless, a countless, countless YouTube tutorials. Now it's all fun and all at the start, but over time this grows old and this is where the problem kicks in. Now, if you reach level 500, you only have two options for it. One is that you don't do any in G+. That will make these mobs nothing to you. Now if you do that, you'll get bored on how easy the game has become for you. But the second option is when you do NG plus to make the monster harder. They are harder to beat. While this is okay and entertaining at best, it was just a temporary solution. The grind is way too long and tedious for this game called Elden Ring. And the only solution I could do for myself, or you can try if you want, is to do some PPP. That's right, PPP. If you are able to catch my previous PPP videos, it may look like I'm having fun. But then again, if you're doing this for a while, and you're beating that same players, you will be running out of interest too. And you will be bored out of your wits. Now, trash talking from players that you beat up is a bonus. I don't respond to that either. I think it's long and no class, right? I just read the random bitterness and go back to the guy on how can I get to level 666 at least. Well, it seems like I'm already stuck to level 500 forever. Now, the absence of uploading for a month happens because we play many games just to fill this void that in our new PS5 who soul because we finally catch one after years of hunting it and we're only playing Souls-like and RPG games that's our core interest we never like other genre during the void we are uh, we play a few more medieval RPG and sci-fi RPG. Among this was chivalry. Surge. And all of these fallout games. We also played Neo. And this one called Horizon Zero Dawn. Now a quick note on this one. Yeah, well, this is really an excellent game. It just doesn't click on me that much. Yeah. 
I've done a few videos on it and playlist on the description. But that's all from me. It's not really the game that I'll spend most of my time with. If you want something dark and scary RPG Souls-like games. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Yon the giant. We played a lot of games during the void, but we are not able to capture each of them for the time being. Right on this video, you are witnessing a kind of fight. Like that from the Colosseum Gladiator match. Yeah, it's a new patch from Elden Ring. I think a solution they came up with the problem of wandering around looking for invaders. While it's good at first, but then again you hit a wall and that's it. We were really young when we started playing Dark Souls. Coming from there, then going here. I say that Elden Ring is really an easy game. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe we just expected too much from it. Anyway, it's 2023. We will be exploring more souls like an RPG games that we are interested in. Now if you think that we are sailing on the same boat, then subscribe and get notified to get updates on what you should try playing too. We might be older now, but not that old. Ooh. Technically, we're still young, and as young gamers, we think differently from these older gamers who play games to forget their life problems. We young gamers, we play games all day. Now, if you think that's you, Subscribe and share our channel to fellow young gamers out there. That's it for now. See ya.